Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Tyler. And I'm Luke. And welcome back to Love Live Sunshine episode discussion for season two, this time for episode eight. Episode and eight, Ocho. I got some things to say about this episode. Uh, Tyler's not gonna go off mad on about here. it. Not going to go as off on you guys as I did on Luke, but I got I got some stuff to say. But let's start with the good things. First of all, all of it. Um, you, no, this episode was objectively was a very very good episode. Like, yeah, I, 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 I really think we got some like really neat characterization from the rival group that we hadn't gotten from Arise. Yeah, I think that's so cool. Just because like I like people always talk about loving Arise and like yeah, Arise is a cool group. They have some nice songs. If like EDM is your is your thing. But I always thought their characters kind of felt a little flat, especially with Subasa. Or um, no, I meant the exception being Subasa because she was kind of like the only one that <laughs> did anything. I'm, yeah. I think I saw a um, a like a, a list of lines from the other two, uh, uh, Edna and oh, I forget the other one's name. But I think they each have like four lines in the entire show or something like that. I wouldn't speaking. be surprised. They just have no screen time, and I, I guess I kind of understand they wanted to showcase Muse fully. But I think do, using the two at the same time is a is a really cool way of of a uh, sunrise using them. So I just like, I I think it's really cool that they're they're really giving Saint Snow like the limelight here. It's it's really interesting to see them not only grow as characters but even just exist and not have him just be like oh, here we are you know what i mean yeah I, I i was very adamant on the fact that i thought how do i put this i was very happy that they were like a stern like rival group like you have to beat us kind of thing not like a, you know like friendly kind of rivalry like arise was but I, I think i'm really starting to warm up to this just given the fact that we're really getting like hardcore character development with both of them and i feel like we wouldn't get as much the other way yeah so it, it, like like they said in the episode, you know, they they didn't really respect Aqua back then, but now they respect him a lot. Um, they even then, apologize for it, or at least yeah, Sarah they did. even apologize for it, which is very nice. Uh, I think the, the the big thing we take away from this episode is no songs, so I'm furious. Um, it's probably <laughs> the worst episode of all time. No, I'm really excited <laughs> for. We're gonna get a bunch of songs these last five episodes. It's either gonna be three or five. I'll take either or because they might do three because you may know Toby Ra. And Sentimental Steps. Sentimental Steps was part of the CD for You May Not Tobia, but it was just never played in the show. And so I'm wondering if they're going to do the same thing in season two, or in season two of uh, of Sunshine, because well, four songs in five episodes would be crazy. But there always is the possibility because Saint Snow actually, I don't know if you guys realize, Saint Snow has three songs officially. <laughs> Um, and I didn't really realize it until a few weeks ago, but the original song, like, it just kind of dawned on me. I was like, where has this song been released? And then I realized it was part of, like, the official soundtrack. I assume Arise yeah. was the same thing. Um, yeah, yeah, Arise was but the same Sa- So Saint Snow has two unreleased songs, the one we heard today and the one we heard in the little preview in, I think, episode five. So I, it's, it's a slim chance, but, I mean, there's always, like, a weird possibility that Saint Snow could have the second, like, the, <laughs> the second single of the of the anime really I, slim chance but I, I think it's the possibilities there I, I think it'd be really cool if it was a saint snow aqua's mashup is one of the songs i definitely think that's gonna happen speaking of mashups uh this ed i listen man i love some first year singing <laughs> we, <laughs> i'm a huge fan of when they open their mouths we were sitting around talking and like we had a little bit of trouble discerning like fully who it was we were we were like kind of sure it was the first year uh, i was having trouble picking out the third voice because i heard some yoshiko I also kind of heard some Maru, but like I, I had this deep, deep hope in my head that it was Leah. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Ruby Leah going into it. I thought that would have been so cool. You really disappointed me, Sunrise. You're the worst company in the world. Worse than EA. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that's really cool. So, I, 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 how do I put this? Actually, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I went downstairs today. My sister does like all kinds of like big singing competitions. Like that's her, that's her thing. And I, I, like, overheard them downstairs as I walked out of my room today. My sister was like, yeah, I'm pretty much, like, like I saw the people I was up against. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to the finals. Like, right after I watched the episode, I was like, well, don't be so sure, Saints. No, don't be so sure. <laughs> and you never know when you'll fall and accidentally make a loss beam. Right when I saw her on the ground, I knew somebody was going to make it in a loss. I was furious already. <laughs> so, as Luke said before, or I guess as I said before, 
there's there is like a, a big chunk of this episode that that really disappointed me and i'm not gonna go into crazy detail about it but like wow i gotta i gotta at least say something so from the preview of last episode we saw we saw thick Amaru and we saw ruby acting all somber and i was like ooh, first year centric maybe ruby episode that type and then for the first like for the first few times in the episode we saw like ruby acting really like huh, and like looking off into an opposite direction and being really quiet like especially when she saw leah like being nervous at a uh, in the dressing room that i was like oh my god it's a ruby episode th- th- this is the dream and I thought it would have been one like cool like if they showed that one or two times and then they kind of went into it like they did with Daya, but literally the whole first half of the episode was just Ruby being on screen and not saying anything. Like yeah, screen time is cool, but like it happened quite it happened quite a few times. But there's so much more happening in the first half of the episode where I think it kind of like w- with the Daya thing, like the entire episode was about the Daya Chan thing, you know, mm-hmm. um, with the, like kind of stapled on story of the school needs money. But the like, there's so much more going on in this episode. I think it was fine where like they showed it a couple times, as many times as like the Daya thing, and but it was just spread out over a wider range. So before before it got into like the nuts and bolts of what's going on with that character. So Ruby had her talk with Leah starting. I think I think it was after the halfway point. It was and like right. At, I think it was right at the halfway point where she walked into her. That might have been the transition to the halfway point. But anyway. Um, I was like, here it is. Like, this is the, <laughs> the development. And then, like, Leo walks out. She's like, if you tell anyone about our talk, I'll kill you. And then <laughs> Ruby was like, ah. I'll kill you. <laughs> she gets out her gun. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. You know, I, I guarantee the development we're going for here is Ruby being independent and not having to, you know, like, worry about what Daya thinks all the time. And I was like, okay, that that's really cool. That That's, like, a really cool direction to go. And I'm happy about that. But then... I thought Ruby decided to walk alone at night in a sketchy neighborhood. I was like, oh, be careful, please. Um, and go to both of their house, their ha- whatever, <laughs> their houses. And she walked with Leah, and I was like, oh, let's go. Oh, oh, I missed a very important part. But when yeah, she yeah, talked the, with, the talk with, yeah, Daya. when she talked with Daya, I was like, oh, here it comes. This is the, the big, this is the crux. This is where it's going to all turn around. This is, this is the development I've been waiting for. And then she, like, cries into Daya. I'm like, oh, here it comes. Daya's going to be like, oh, be yourself. It's great. And then Daya's like, oh, you did you did so much. You know, you did you did this all on your own today. You did this without my help. You, did, you know, it was all you. And then I was like, oh, this is so good. This is awesome. And then, like, immediately after, it was just, like, I, I it just kind of seemed like it was lost. Like, I knew from, from right as soon as that happened, I was like, uh-oh, this isn't good. And then she gets in the argument with Leah about their big sisters and how they're both super great i'm like no no, mm." like that it's it's cute it's nice but like man this is not where i was like hoping it'd go and then the episode kind of ends off with uh well i don't know if it ends yeah it ends with them at the christmas tree right like yeah okay and it ends with them at the christmas tree like oh we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a song here and it's like okay that's i'm really hoping that it's kind of like a a one to two parts you mentioned that possibility to me and that kind of calmed me down a little bit I definitely think it's like kind of like a setup to the character development because because I think Ruby's made it obvious with her talk with Leah that like yeah she wants to be independent but she's not sure how to do it yet you know she's always had she's always had Daya there for her to lean on for her to be there with her and uh, to support her and stuff and she she wants to learn how to be independent but she's not yet and that's where making the song with Leah and same with Leah right that's where making the song with Leah comes in into making them independent it could be a thing of like ruby already is independent you know she's already shown that she can be independent but she doesn't think that she can be independent right i I think that this next episode will like that's what it's gonna push is hey ruby you can do this by yourself and you gotta believe in yourself and by the end of the episode she'll she'll believe in herself to do things independently she won't need hanamaru to do it with her i really hope so she won't need daya to do it with her but i think that's what they're really gonna push in the next episode and same with leah that you don't you know you don't need her and it it just it, it felt like super strongly like it was it was trying to set up this um, the the development for the both of them. I really hope so. Like, I will be so happy to be wrong about this and just like be happy that I was worrying for nothing. Like, oh, that would make me so happy. And like the icing on the cake of this was when she got off the bus. Oh, Daya got off the bus. So I was like, okay, it's not Ruby. And then Ruby showed up. I was like, no, <laughs> no. Well, I mean, you you can't flame Lantis for that one. Like, come on. <laughs> like, of course, Daya and Ruby are gonna get off the bus together. Like, that's fine. But like. 
ah, that's not that's not what I want. It's just I that's, I want that's the whole arguably like arguably the most like interconnected characters in in the series. But like. Oh man, I just want like a whole independence arc, and then to just cap off the whole episode with them getting off the bus together. It's like, come on, you can't get arcs in Love Live. There's only thirteen episodes. Come on, you can get an, you this get is an your arc, arc in two episodes. That's an arc. <laughs> Who do we have left to get off the bus? Uh, Chica's gotten off. Has Yo got, Yo got off, right? Hanamaru got off. Because Chica got off in the first episode, right? Or did Yo get off in the first episode? No, Yo got off in the third. Uh, okay, so you ready? Chika was episode one, Hanamaru was two, Yo Mari? was three, Riko and Yoshiko was five, Kanan was seven, Ruby and Daya were eight. So wait, one, two, so three, yeah, four, five, Mari. six, seven, eight. Yeah, we only need Mari left. So that's cool. Um, does that mean, ooh, str- strong theory for the next 17 episodes ending with songs? <laughs> I'm like yeah, yeah. I know, right? See, see, <laughs> see. Four out of five songs ending. Four out of five episodes ending with songs because there's only one time Mari can get off the bus. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Mari's getting off the bus. What if Mario just got songs. Mario's just stuck Ooh. on the bus? Help! Mari, Mari <laughs> drives the bus away. <laughs> I own this school. I can have it. Oh man! But I'm I'm just really really happy that like my my big takeaway from this episode is. Saint Snow is going in the exact direction that I wanted Arise to go in. In, like, the really developed, like, actually care about the rivals and not just, like, wow, they have some okay songs kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, and I feel like they... That's just my big takeaway from this episode. Yeah, I feel, and I feel like they do some decent, like, Tsubasa uh, development and, like, specifically the movie. But, yeah, the, the, what they're doing with Saint Snow is so much better. I, I agree. I really enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it does take away from, like, girls in Aqua's screen time, because now you got to share it with two more girls. But what can you do? Like, I'm, I'm cool. Like, I don't mind. That's something I wanted from, from the first, like, in the first place. You know what I mean? Leah sing good. Leah's my favorite, oh, like, I was arguably gonna my say, favorite vocalist. All right, there's all two things. Way. The first one being, wow, I, I've been I've been beaned, dude. Like, as, okay, so I was watching it in bed as soon as I woke up this morning, and I was just watching it on my, like, tinny cell phone speakers, and then I saw... Rico say Saint Snow is next and I cannot describe how fast I paused the video and got real headphones. I was like this is <laughs> and then they start it's metal I'm like here we go and then it cuts to black I was like is this really is my video going to freeze now of all times and then yeah, I thought mine freezed for a second also yeah and then it, it comes back I'm like oh really? <laughs> oh they just suck okay Um. and like <laughs> imagine if they actually Imagine if they actually showed that, like, the song started and, like, ten seconds in she just falls, and they'll have, like, fall <laughs> fall versions on YouTube. <laughs> I was really hoping the song that Leah was listening to on her, on her uh, like, her iPod or her little Walkman or whatever. Walkman? Walkman. Only, only <laughs> 90s kids know. Uh, <laughs> that the little, the, the, the iPod she was listening to, whatever she was listening to, that it was, like, an Aqua song. That's why she was, like, trembling and, like, clinch fist. <laughs> Obviously, the episode did not go in that direction. But I thought it was going to be like the cutesy Leah thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, she's a big Aquas fan. Mm-hmm. But did not go in that direction. Oh, Aquas got their first, uh, their first autograph from people. They're like, wow, this is mm-hmm. what it's like being famous. Like the fans that approached <laughs> them when they got to the school. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And you're talking about Leah singing. Like, I mean, I always knew Leah was a good singer. Like, I mean, she's super great in self-control. But I got to say, I'm not one to usually, like, pick up on, like, specific voice acting quality it's just i don't really it's not really something i know a whole lot about except for the first time the very first episode of season two i noticed the dramatic increase in quality in the Mm -hmm. in the voice acting and leah's voice actress is so freaking good like it it, she is phenomenal like i was talking to luke before (laughs) he was like yeah i can't wait to hear leah sing i'm like no 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 i just want to hear her talk (laughs) (laughs) It takes quite a bit to like, especially since we're not Japanese speakers. It takes quite a, it takes pretty awesome performance for us to pick up on uh, Japanese voice acting, and this was pretty good. It was fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, Sarah's Sarah, Sarah's is good too, but you know, uh, Leah's is I think just the star like of the show. Leah's voice, Leah's voice inflections are so cool. I agree. She's pissed, and she's also like two feet tall. She's so pissed. Has the same hairdo as Ruby. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody <laughs> well, knows that. Well, that, that was, that was I, set up. I love when people call them uh, 
evil honk and evil Nico or like dark Nico or something like that. Dude, it, no, it's dark. It's dark con on dark. Uh, well, dark she has like Ruby, a side dude. ponytail, so it's dark honk. Oh no, that's true. Okay, yeah. Dark honk, dark and honk, donk, Ruby. She donk has the Ruby. exact same hairstyle as, as Ruby. It's like, there's Ruby. a scene when they're in the road, like talking to each other. Yeah, and Ruby's hair. I noticed. Is in, like, the foreground like literally and, the li- and, like the same yeah. lines. Like I, I noticed and that Leah's too. hair is in the background, and they look exactly the same. And I was like, huh. Yeah, that was that was pretty great. But overall, really good episode. I'm really excited for the next one. I'm really excited for songs. If we ever get to hear a song ever again, yeah, really. Series. Hoping the world doesn't end before Chica gets to do her backflip or Anchan, I yeah. guess. <laughs> um, I I will be so 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 happy to have all my worries disappear and have for the next episode to just kind of be like a sequel thing. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch it before you. Don't watch it until I watch it, and then I'll just tell you if you should watch it or not. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna watch it no matter what. But I mean, was that a, just an excuse for you to say watch it regardless of what happens? No, I was gonna try to keep you away if it was if it was if something you didn't want. I'm looking out for you. So before we go, really, 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 really big announcement. If you guys didn't see yesterday, we are running a giveaway thanks to our friend RYC03. We're going to be giving away literal moment rings. If you didn't see that already. Yeah, like, they're really cool. They're I think they're sterling silver, right? They're sterling silver. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're really beautiful. Go check out the video. Go check out his video of him showing them off. We're going to give away two of them through Gleam and one through the video that we put up. Yep. Uh, for all the instructions, just there's a link in the description to the video. And just follow all the instructions on the video. And you, too, can be the owner of a lovely moment ring. But anyway, as for this episode, man, it was good. <laughs> good episode. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks so much.